Do you want to just jump right into it? Sure. Is that we're going to start videos from now on? I'm going to I'm going to go. Have you seen Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness? No. Oh, well, end of video. <laughs> Unless you want me to spoil it for you. Nah, you have, uh, of course. I know. Of we course. both saw it opening night because we're true fans. Mm -hmm. And I think it's safe to say we both enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it a lot. I think there are parts that I can understand why people won't like that the movie. But for me, it was definitely very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. oh, it, pretty much the same thing. I feel like it yeah. was very fast paced and stuff. So if you don't like that. Yeah, then it had a cracking there. pace. There was really no like dramatic downtime, you know? No, like yeah. immediately after the like start, I did not expect it to just go directly into the movie. Like yeah, just obviously jump right that's into how it. movie works. But yeah, like, and I appreciate that because yeah. I was worried. It wasn't as long as I thought it was going to be. I remember I no. checked before I saw it, but I was worried there's going to be a bunch of like kind of dramatic dialogues without any real purpose, but there yeah. really wasn't. It was quite action-packed and riveting from start to finish. Mm -hmm. I wrote a little list of what we're going to talk okay. about. Sounds Do you good. have that something that you want to talk about first? No. Okay. Well, the first thing I said was the plot. We're not going to do a spoiler free one. We're just going to spoil it. That makes because, it easier. That does yeah, make it easier. <laughs> I'll put up a film log and that'll be the review. Okay. But the plot basically is America Chavez is running through universes because she has an, she, she, she has a power where she can travel through the multiverse mm -hmm. and someone wants it. And that someone is WandaVision, the TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah she's, Scarlet Witch is the villain which a lot of people figured I don't think mm -hmm. they officially confirmed it because I, I didn't know for sure going in yeah I didn't know for sure either because I feel like a bunch of people would be like oh yeah Wanda's going to be the villain and other people were like no she's not like why are you making her the villain but she's clearly a, she was <laughs> she's very much a villain in this movie and yes. her motivations are pretty uh they're understandable, even though she's yeah, corrupted they do a good by, job of that. Yeah, they show how she is actually corrupted by the Dark Old, which is one of the most dangerous. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> she's corrupted by the Dark Old, which is one of the most powerful kind of weapons in the Marvel universe. And yes. her her end game in this, her Avengers end game, her Avengers is that she endgame. wants to go to a different universe where her kids are real and alive and then assume the role of their mother. If there is an infinite amount of universes. Right? Couldn't she find one where the she was dead and her yeah. kids were alive and then she so that, just took the place? That's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. And also, <laughs> Doctor Strange was like, yeah, but they're not real. And in other multiverse, like in other universes, the kids aren't real either. And she's like, no, in every single one, they're real because I dream about it. And I'm like, that's not how an infinite number of anything works. Like there would be an infinite number where Wanda's dead and the kids are orphaned. There'd be an infinite yeah. number where exactly what happened to Wanda happened, except for like one slight difference in a different unrelated aspect of the universe. But yeah. And anyway, she is real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is corrupted and she's very like, you can kind of see it in her eyes. She does a very good job. Oh, she, she did a this. great she job. She's very charming yeah. in this and very menacing. I'm in love with her. Yeah. By she reminds easily... me. She reminds me of Dory from Search Party. Oh, I thought you were going to say Dory from Finding Nemo. And I was a like, little bit what? too. Yeah. That's but, fair yeah, though. Dory and Search Party, her, they both have like this little stare where they're like, oh, you believe what you're thinking. And like, you just truly are kind of like crazy. Uh -huh. But yeah. it's the Darkhold's fault. She was corrupted because we find out later that the Darkhold will corrupt everyone. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so she's trying to catch America Chavez, starting with a big old squid thing, a big old octopus monster. Yeah, I thought that was Shuma Garoth. I know. They, not. Yeah. No, uh, they, I think they made toys and the name of that monster was like Gigantos, Gigantos or something. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. Not really a villain in this movie. Kind of. No, not at all. Falls to the wayside very quickly, but still a pretty interesting opening scene, even though mm -hmm. I didn't think it looked very great. No. Did you? Yeah. The CGI no. was kind of <laughs> bad in a lot of parts of this movie, which didn't completely take away from my enjoyment. Yeah, but I honestly respect as, it. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. like super lifelike all the time, which no. I don't think I necessarily want. But so America Chavez and a Doctor Strange are trying to get to the Book of Vashanti, right? Mm -hmm. that's what it's yeah, called. that's what it's called. And then Doctor Strange dies, killed by Gigantos. And then America Chavez flies into the MCU, Earth 616, we find mm -hmm. out, and runs into our Doctor Strange and is like, get away from me. I don't like you. I don't like a version of you. And then it's his job to prove that he is a better Doctor Strange than the one that betrayed her and tried to steal her and, power for and himself. tried to yeah. steal her well 
I feel like he was just trying to steal it and then I guess he was going to steal it and then run away, right? He wasn't going to steal it and kill himself. I doubt it. I think it was going to, because if he stole it, I think he would be able to control it and then he would have been able to like get away from the monster and beat right. it probably. And there's but also that he would scene kill her later. in the process. Yeah. There's also that scene later when Doctor Strange kind of got mad at America and was saying, like, how could he not control this? Like, you just did it. Even I could do it. And then he pauses. He's like, oh, I see the mindset of this other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he doesn't do that. And we talked about this briefly over the texts, the testicles. The text. And <laughs> uh, Doctor Strange learned from Spider-Man. He did. No he way definitely home. did. That was no really way cool. home. Yeah. Uh, Doctor Strange is like, screw these guys. Let's throw them back to the universe. They're going to die. Who cares? Peter Parker is like, nah, man, like we can just cure them and then send them back. Mm-hmm. And I think we've talked about my, they're still going to die. That's why I don't understand yeah, the yeah, no yeah, way yeah. home premise. They're, they're just... Now, now Peter Parker is just sending back an innocent person to their death, but whatever. Anyway, Doctor Strange learned from that and realizes he's like, okay, so we don't have to just kill her. Like that's there are other ways, and he finds another way. Barely, he almost loses. Yeah, that but, was very, very yeah. close. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what else did I've written down? We've talked about the plot, America Chavez villain. Ooh, the Illuminati. Mm. So we saw them in the trailers. We heard the name Illuminati. We knew Patrick Stewart was in it as Patrick Stewart playing Professor X. We knew Captain Carter was in it. Uh, do you want to name the other members or do you want me to do it? Uh, I don't remember the members you said. So yeah. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we've got Mordo. Like, yeah. We've got Baron Carl Mordo, I think. Um, Car- I think his Carl? I think it's Carl. Carl. Carl Mordo. I'm pretty sure that's his name. And then Dr. Strange is like, Carl, really? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah. That. We've got Black Bolt. The leader uh-huh. of the Inhumans. Who is has... that? The one from the TV show? Oh, yeah, I was know, about to same say. Actor? Okay. Same actor. Uh, from the his name's Anson Mount. He's the same actor as the failed TV show of the Inhumans. Yeah. I didn't know it was him at first. I was like, who is this? Because I've never seen that show, and I yeah, probably either. never will because it's bad. Unless you want to do a video on it over the summer, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, he's in it. We have Captain Carter, of course. We have Captain Marvel, who's played by Lashana Lynch, who is Maria Rambeau, Maria Rambeau Captain Marvel. Yeah who's Carol Danvers is like pilot buddy and they're friends aside from that too, which that makes a lot of sense because both great pilots, it's probably very easy to believe that instead of Carol Danvers flying that mission, it could have been the other one. Yeah, for sure. So I get that. And she's also the mother of Monica Rambeau, who was Photon, who mm-hmm. was in WandaVision. Yeah. So we got those. And then we got, I think I was trying to say, I almost a Professor X. I was trying to say Mr. Fantastic for last. And I think I did. Yeah, you did. You haven't said Okay. Me. I know. I just didn't know if I forgot someone else. Anyway, no, that, that's Mr. All, Fantastic everyone. is in it. And he's played by the long rumored casting choice of John Krasinski. Yeah, that was freaking awesome. I was great, very excited. Great myself. casting. Yeah. Right? Like I, I didn't cheer because I'm, I respect movies, but I kind of did like a fist pump. I'm like, yes. Yeah, yeah I did that. I was, um, I went with uh, Emma and yeah. she's not a, like a Marvel fan at all. Like, Shout out like, to this girl. Yeah, Emma, <laughs> she, she's like not a huge fan, but she wanted to go with me and stuff. And so like right. I, during that scene, like I was like, I got really excited and I could like hold her hand and I could see her being like really confused what was it's going like, on. Are you in danger? Like, <laughs> yeah, are you having a heart attack? Should I save like, you? The entire scene, I had to explain like each person. Yeah. She was like, what is going on? That's fair. But no, great casting. Mm-hmm. Uh, they call him the smartest man in the universe. That's his introduction. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't then, act like it. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> uh, he, I feel like they didn't really write him to be super super smart sounding yeah but i feel like he was he didn't sound dumb no he didn't sound dumb i just yeah. like the way he acted was not the smartest but like well, i think yeah i think he's, that off. i think he just wasn't as arrogant as like a tony stark yeah yeah yeah. because like tony stark i feel like one of the reasons i'm glad tony stark isn't in the illuminati is because the mcu version that we've seen always has to be the smartest character mm-hmm. like he wants to be but also he's always written that way so he would just outshine all of them mm-hmm. but yeah all of them are introduced Last, of course, is Professor X. He slowly wheelchairs up yeah. in a big yellow, like floating wheelchair. It's amazing. It's so funny. It is. And, it is. Yeah, they all talk to him. And so they're not a multiversal group, which is what I thought they were going to be. I thought it was going to be like a collection of all the smartest people from various universes. No, yeah, the they're Illuminati. just the one. It's basically the Avengers, but for their universe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we see a scene, which I really liked, where they're talking. They Professor X goes into Doctor Strange's brain to show him what happened to their Doctor Strange. And they had mm-hmm. to kill him because their version got corrupted by the dark hold. But in the in the corner of the shot, not really the corner, but in the shot, you see a dead Thanos, and he's stabbed by the sword he has in Endgame, mm-hmm. which means either like they still did this, like Thanos still won and did the snap, and then the Illuminati did a time heist, or that Thanos invaded like much earlier because. 
Thanos didn't have that sword in Infinity War. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know when he, like, when is that supposed to have taken place? Like, did they actually have to do a time heist and then Thanos came to Earth? Even though it looked like it was on Titan. Yeah, so I'm it was not on really Titan, sure. I yeah. want to say. So, so I'm not sure beforehand. what that entails. Maybe the Illuminati heard of him and then went out there to kill him, <laughs> which I would not be surprised by. <laughs> like, screw seen. this dude. Yeah. <laughs> But and then we get to see Black Bolt use his powers. What do you think of that? I thought it was cool. Yeah. I feel like it was really slow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess you'd he, expect he it like to do. whispered, yeah. I'm sorry. And it, uh -huh. they kind of used, there's a visual way they showed that the power like amp, like it kind of amplifies. Uh huh. And you could hear him saying, I'm sorry. And it would get louder and louder until Dr. Strange exploded. Literally but, faded to dust. It was just, he got yeah. snapped away. But by basically, voice. By a, yeah. <laughs> but a scene that I really loved that I think a lot of people might be upset with is that the Illuminati all die. Except oh, for Baron, except for, except for Mordo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mordo's alive, but I like that they killed him. And we talked about this because like, they're a super cool group. I love yeah. the group, but I don't want to see like the Illuminati is less compelling to me when they're in like a utopian paradise because their yeah. universe is like super technologically advanced. There's like flowers and plants growing everywhere. So they probably have less climate change problems. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so I don't want like seeing them go do stuff wouldn't be as compelling as if we saw like broken people from broken worlds come together. Mm -hmm. I think that'd so, be a lot more interesting. So I think maybe I, I'm sure we'll see the Illuminati again. I don't think they would just throw him away like that. Yeah. But the version we'll see later on will probably be created by our Doctor Strange. And he's getting multiversal agents from like all over the place or anyone yeah. who thinks is up to the task. That makes sense. But yeah, I really liked how they died. I think it was pretty dumb that they were like, hey, Black Bolt could kill you with one word. And he like smirks. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, that's what I was talking about when like, I saw a bunch of people complaining about this too, where Reed Richards literally says their greatest weapon, like how Black yeah. Bolt does his only power. It gives Wanda right. a chance to stop him immediately. And then right. when afterwards, he all he does is just reach his hand out. He doesn't do anything else. He just reaches <laughs> his hand out slowly towards her. Yeah, they're not very <laughs> that's good. That's not smart. <laughs> yeah, the Illuminati in this movie are not very good. Yeah, I mean, Wanda's probably... a very formidable foe. Oh, I like how they showed how freaking just boss yeah. she is. And like I think how powerful she really is. I think that's one reason they had her kill the Illuminati is just to show like how much of a threat she really is. Yeah, like freaking no yeah. one had any chance at stopping right. her. And I don't think Reed Richards probably knew that Wanda could get rid of his mouth. Yeah, I doubt you know? he knew how powerful. I don't think they, maybe he I think they very much underestimated her. Yes, clearly. Well, yeah, they all died. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah black bolt exploded in the brain that was that was a very interesting scene i was not expecting it yeah there's some sam raimi stuff in this movie who's the director and he mm -hmm. also made the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, but also a trilogy called like the Evil Dead. And the first Evil Dead is like a horror movie is pretty camp. Like the mo like the horror elements are like like monster designs. They kind of look kind of cheap and stuff. Uh -huh. and the second and third Evil Dead movies get super funny and weird. Uh -huh. And you can really see his influence on this movie, obviously, because he directed it. That makes sense. But, like all like the designs, like the zombie Doctor Strange, not the zombie, like the dead one. Yeah, later yeah. on like doesn't look like what you'd imagine like a it doesn't look like a walking dead zombie or anything he just looks no. kind of like like a, a shitty dead person yeah like he's not <laughs> that's not what you'd expect a dead person to look like and then when you see dr strange getting attacked by all those like spirits from hell uh -huh. they have like squeaky little voices they're like come here get over here like stuff like that <laughs> yeah that is very like that's sam raimi through and through and i really appreciated that but then there's also elements like we were talking about the black bolt head exploding thing where it's kind of like gory and like yeah. not not what you'd expect from a Marvel movie. No, and I appreciate and I like, that. I, yeah, I appreciate that too. But also, Black Bolt, just don't say anything. Yeah, that, like, like I guess you're you're so used to not talking. You never Why would say, you say something. A single, yeah. like you can't even make a sound without destroying like whatever room you're in. Yeah, I Why guess would was, you like you're shocked, but so like he, that yeah, you what? panicked, but maybe he thought he could. I he feel like if this talk, happened to he me, was like believed. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like if this happened to me, if that specifically happened to me, I would think that my voice could like go through my like it would break the little mouth barrier. Oh. Like it would go through, it would like tear off the skin that just grew over it, but didn't. Why wouldn't it? I guess because he didn't, he doesn't have a mouth anymore. Because Wanda didn't just cover the mouth; she removed it entirely. So the only way the sound could get out is through the brain. <laughs> I know. It, like I do think it would still do what happens but i feel like yeah. it also open this like do like remove the front of his face 
yeah, maybe they should add that in now that we yeah. came up with this great idea. I agree. Anyway, <laughs> Professor X has a really underwhelming fight with Wanda. Well, I don't know how else you would fight her. Like, like I remember it was like a year or two ago, there was a rumor that was like, in Doctor Strange 2, Scarlet Witch is going to have a mind fight with a very famous X-Men. And everyone's like, it's okay, it's Professor X, obviously. Yeah, who else would so it be? I, yeah, I mean, it could be Jean Grey. I thought it might yeah. be Legion not for some popular. reason. Could be okay. Magic from the New Mutants. Remember Magic? I do. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's just a very slow fight. And then but he's dead, right? Because he gets, he gets, he his neck snapped in the brainscape. But he's he probably... just kind of just kind of falls over yeah if he's not dead he's comatose yeah even if we yeah. see pr- this professor x again i think it'll be a different multiverse version so it doesn't really matter much yeah if he's dead or not but what do you think of patrick stewart he seemed very old i he thought he did i yeah. like seeing him walk it was weird <laughs> yeah right you're like this is okay i mean it makes sense why would he still be in a wheelchair in a yeah. world that he created yeah but i will say sorry this is kind of unrelated i just remembered i wanted to bring it up I did not like how they introduced Captain Carter. Like, why'd she throw the shield? Was there any reason? No, she just I, did it. I, yeah, I mean, I guess <laughs> Doctor Strange was being arrogant. So she threw a shield at him and then caught it arrogantly? That's not... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, well, not to draw comparisons, but Captain America wouldn't do that. No, probably not. No. I don't know I mean, why he would. Falcon might, I guess. Probably not. Uh, he's not arrogant either. I, feel I don't like. know. I did think Cap- Captain Carter, I think she like bulked up for the role or it's a yeah. lot of padding, but she looks formidable. She looks no, like she, she does. Has, she looks yeah. like she had the super soldier serum. Yeah. You know, and injected like her into jet I love the jetpack. <laughs> yeah. Why doesn't Captain America have one? But oh yeah, I wanted to say that I really love the use of magic in this movie because mm-hmm. a, a common criticism by me and a lot of other people of the first Doctor Strange mm-hmm. is that it's not really magic stuff is just kind of like glittery glowing orange shields that break Mm -hmm. very quickly yeah it's like the weekly planet calls it like it's like i don't know it's like sparkle sparklers they're just basically holding sparklers but in this one like right off the bat you see like when our the 616 doctor strange is fighting gigantos one of the first things he does is there's like a bus that's about to hit a person and he just summons this like beast and the yeah. beast like eats it and then like disappears. I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't care what it is. It's amazing. Yeah, it was very, it was a nice detail. Like, I love how he's just doing weird stuff now because you would. Yeah. Yeah. And then we could talk about the music scene between. I loved that. Yeah, I think it's so good. So great. Like Doctor Strange is fighting another multiversal Doctor Strange whose world is collapsing and they just throw music notes at each other. Really clever. It was very and, clever. And I like that you can see like 616 Doctor Strange kind of like looks at the music notes, mm-hmm. the sheet of music, and then it like comes to his brain. Like he he realizes like, okay, cool, I can do this. Mm-hmm. So I like the idea that he's just always improvising. Like he's Definitely. so talented at magic that he can just improvise given whatever his surroundings are. And I think that's mm-hmm. like a true testament to his skill. Agreed. I'd say. Yeah. Um, we talked about the learn from Spider-Man thing. Oh, apparently everyone knows that Doctor Strange gave up the time stone. Did you notice that? Like that guy at the wedding is like, hey man, why'd you do it? And he's like, I had no choice. She's like, really? I figured they told the story about like everything. I mean, people I mean, I like, like, are yeah, curious I like the, why. I, I like the idea that someone, I don't know who would do this, but there's like a, like an interview, mm-hmm. like a late night show where just one of the Avengers explains what happened and now everyone's really pissed about it, but. Who would it be though? I feel like. Well, Captain America's old. Iron Man's would, dead. Yeah. It wouldn't be Doctor Strange. It wouldn't be Spider-Man. Spider-Man would make the most sense, but I don't think it would be. Like, he, they wouldn't ask. Him. Yeah, maybe Nick Fury. He's alive. I guess he's he a, would disclose information. But he him. doesn't. I, I mean, he wasn't really present for all of that. Someone Andy's would have to tell. Space. Yeah, someone would have to tell him what was going on. And then I, it's probably Hulk. I just realized it's definitely Hulk. Well, why? <laughs> because he's like, I don't know. I feel like every time oh, we he's see a, him. He's a celebrity now, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's a celebrity. Yeah. He's always, like, talking to people. <laughs> taking yeah. photos it's not ant-man like in shang chi like at the end there's like captain marvel hulk and wong and someone mm-hmm. else probably they're all like talking together so i feel like Doc, like hulk's kind of assumed a role of like public voice that's fair but we'll never see that i would love to see a marvel one shot of just hulk explaining what happened yeah <laughs> just sitting there with like jimmy kimmel <laughs> just <laughs> explaining it but what are some other cameos there's bruce campbell the hot dog guy oh he's that's in, funny he, yeah he's in the <laughs> evil dead movies okay so and we should do you want to talk about the end credit scene i didn't uh, wait like both no but well, the hot dog one not hot really. dog one. there's nothing really to talk about <laughs> that was good but that was funny though I it like was that. funny it was but like, there's not over. like a, i don't really have a like a like a, a clever detail no, there's to nothing to mention. say about it it's just funny but the first one is clea 
Is it Clea? Yes, yeah. That's what you told me, I think. Okay, yeah. I kept thinking it was Clara, but I think it's Clea shows up, played by Charlize Theron. And Clea is the niece of Dormammu. I looked it up after because I thought I, she was either the daughter or the niece, but she's the Sorcerer Supreme of the Dark Dimension. Okay. So she hangs out with Dormammu. And her and Doctor Strange often have their love interest for one another. And Doctor Strange and her hang out a bunch. And then when Doctor Strange dies in the comics, she becomes Earth's Sorcerer Supreme. Okay. So I assume we will see an element of that, but I had no idea who that was. No, me either. either. I was really like, I, I honestly, I was like, it's magic. I don't know why. Like the character magic, not not magic in well, general. Yes. But I because she has a sword and magic has a sword, and that sword can like go to hell in the comics, even though it wasn't wow, hell. You really dislike that sword. <laughs> yeah, fuck that sword, man. <laughs> Go to hell. But yeah, I guess the next movie is going to be what incursion do you think he caused? The only one I can think of is the universe that was already dead. Right? Like, I yeah. guess he, I mean, I don't want to, it could be the Illuminati first. He didn't really yeah. do that, though. No, it wasn't his fault, but yeah. I mean, all of their heroes are dead now. So not Mordo. Okay, Mordo's there. Mordo's <laughs> probably pretty pissed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, though. I, it could, it's probably just like a random universe, honestly. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe when, I mean, maybe when they pass through. Maybe knowing Doctor Strange, he probably kept doing it. Yeah. <laughs> like after the movie ended, he just kept going through universes, just messing around. He would. But I don't. Maybe it's the dark dimension, but that's not really like a parallel universe. It's just a different dimension. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm not sure what that is going to be. But oh, me neither. What was I going to say? It was something about. Oh, you know what I think would have been really funny. But remember at remember the after like the end credit scene of the first Doctor Strange is Baron Mordo sucking the magic out of someone and he goes no more yes. magic and then we like that version of Mordo we've never seen again mm-hmm. and I don't think we will Probably I would think I would have thought it would be so funny if this version of Mordo is an end credit scene where he like kills someone from a different multiverse and is like no more multiverses <laughs> and then no we more multi <laughs> And then we never see him again. <laughs> they just every every Doctor Strange movie has an end credits with a different Baron Mordo. It's just <laughs> making a new claim. And then we see a Baron Mordo team up where they all kill Doctor Strange. That'd be dope. Yeah. I mean, did you think there was a notable absence of any mention of Kang? Yeah, I feel like the Illuminati could have mentioned them. I feel like someone should have like name dropped him. But I guess because after Loki, we all assumed that the different timelines were multiverses which i guess like i still it think they are be, right yeah what yeah else I, I still think like i don't know but <laughs> I don't, yeah i don't know because like but then i would have thought that kang would have something to do with this movie they don't know kang though right because he's from the future technically no i guess they're right you're yeah right. so they wouldn't know him i mean yeah but he's the kang from the comics is always just showing up randomly anywhere yeah he's messing could, with stuff he, i'm sure he will in the future obviously like, so he like has to but i mean he's gonna be an ant-man 3 yeah but again, I think that's going to, I think maybe his stuff is more time travel based as opposed to multiverse based. I, I wonder if they're drawing a line between multiverses and timelines. I'd be, I'd be smart to at least not have a bunch of time travel within a multiverse movie because then it just yeah. gets way too complicated. Because, well, yeah, the multiverse that we see, you don't travel to a different time period. You travel to the same time period, In a different just a different, yeah. like a different multiverse. So like we didn't see, there's no time travel in this movie. Also like multiversal travel is in the dark hold which means it existed before not before well before kang Mm -hmm. but kang didn't like eradicate it like he could have like disallowed the dark hold to mention multiverses or just killed the dark hold because like otherwise people could have done this anyway you know what i mean maybe it only exists in the dark hold if there are multiverses i guess because I feel like the multiverse started at the end of Loki. Yes. Which is why then we saw What If, and then we saw Spider-Man the next. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But at this point, I guess it always existed because no one's really like, this is out of nowhere. Yeah, like it, it existed. And then it, in Loki, it did, they like Kang had controlled it. Yeah. And then after that, it dispersed. But because now the multiverses exist, they always existed. It's like how if time travel is a thing, then it's always a thing because you can literally travel through time. God, I hate this. Yeah, but it's still technically like it just started existing always instead of being one contained universe. Right. Yeah. So if that is the case, if it was one contained universe, there'd only be the one universe. So then the Dark Hold probably wouldn't mention the multiverse because for them, whoever made it, it wouldn't exist. But right. if there were multiverses, it would have started as soon as possible and then it would be involved. 
or I suppose the is your roommate like playing guitar or something? He is can you hear that? Yeah, I thought it was. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> it's fitting. There's the random guitar stuff in Doctor Strange all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. This will be the soundtrack to this video. Yeah. God damn, I lost my train of thought. It was uh, the multiverse stuff. Something about Kang, probably. Oh, that makes sense. Oh well, I'm just gonna move on. Okay. I liked how Reed Richards says he already has a family, which I love. Like he already has yeah. his kids. And then that line was, that was so badass. Where it's like, yeah. does she, that was, is your mother alive? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was like well delivered. It was like, like delivered slowly. It wasn't uh-huh. like, she doesn't change cadence when she's like, then they'll have someone left to mourn with them or whatever. Let like, to raise them, I think. Oh, good point. Yeah, I should have said that. <laughs> I'm gonna cut that out. But yeah, I thought that was really good. But I like the, I mean, we're not going to see that the Illuminati universe again, probably. Mm-hmm. But I like the casual mention that Valyria and Franklin exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was cool. That was cool. And Franklin kind of has multiversal powers, so he could have played a part in this. He didn't, though. Lame. Yeah. Do you think America Chavez is a mutant? They don't say the word mutant in this movie at all. Yeah, I doubt it. Like, she has her powers, and she doesn't know where they came from. That so doesn't maybe. necessarily mean she's a mutant. Yeah, it doesn't really mean. Did you like how the first time she used her powers, because it was because there's a bee? Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> really just like, because she just, it's just when she gets scared, and it makes sense. Yeah. And she's, a and she's like, like, holy shit. The smallest things. Yeah. It's a bee. Yeah. Holy bee. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. I don't like this, but the movie was banned in like Saudi Arabia because America Chavez has lesbian parents. Really? Yeah, there are like four different countries that didn't allow this movie to go into theaters because of that. That's dumb. I mean, yeah. obviously, that, that everyone knows that, but still. Right, yeah. <laughs> so I don't think that's going to hurt there. They're not going to like do worse because of it. I don't think Saudi um, Arabia is a... I'm sure they provide a decent market for film, but it's not like they're America or China. But China might yeah. ban it too. I don't know. Because they ban... They don't They don't let like that lesbian kiss in The Rise of Skywalker. They had to cut that oh, out I forgot China. about that. Yeah, right? They just. She just doesn't have parents. There's just a B and then that's it. <laughs> she just edited it out. Yeah, it's just a B. <laughs> or you see the two the two moms and then there's like a weird little like caption that says just good friends. <laughs> they just they're just friends raising a child. <laughs> yeah, just friends who have a kid. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think of America Chavez? I liked her. Yeah, I think she's a child actor. So yeah, no, like, exactly. She definitely had some that very first opening scene with her and the Doctor Strange with a ponytail. Mm-hmm. Defender Strange, I think. Pony is Strange. Called. Pony Strange. I uh, I was like, I was thinking like, okay, this doesn't look great. The acting's not great. I'm like, if it stays like this, it'll feel very much like a teen movie. Like one of those yeah. like teen yeah. shows, probably like Outer Banks that I haven't seen. Where the acting is not great. It's very dramatic and doesn't look very good. Mm-hmm. But then it quickly kind of moves beyond that. And I it think does. she does a very good. good job overall. Mm-hmm. But there are definitely scenes where you can tell that she is like a child actor. No, definitely. For sure. Which is fine, obviously. Didn't ruin the movie by any stretch. No, not at all. Yeah. Brandon Jackson was saying that they didn't like how Doctor Strange wasn't the main character in his own movie. And he then I, I, wasn't I, not the main character. That's what I thought. I guess they were Wanda like, was. Yeah, she was I more mean, of the central focus, but I don't care because like I mentioned earlier, I'm in love with her. Yeah, I, oh, I should have said this at the beginning, but this is the most comic booky movie. Like, oh my God. This is the most comic booky comic book movie we've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it and is. And so all this stuff like jump, like, you know, when Wanda like is dream walking, day walking, what's it called? Dream walking? It's dream something. When she's no. dreaming. <laughs> When, when she's, she's dreaming, dreaming, when she's dream walking into a different version of her, that version of Wanda's like stumbling around. It's like all scary things are changing. And she looks in the window and she sees like Scarlet Witch. That's a very mm-hmm. comic book. Like I yeah. can see that in a panel. Like it's it's a very colorful movie. It's a very goofy movie. There's a lot of like comic book, like like images, mm-hmm. not like literally, but like things that could be lifted straight out of a comic book. And I yeah. really love that. And another thing about like in comic books, a Doctor Strange comic will have Doctor Strange, but it'll also have like all these other elements. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. guess you could say that he's not the main character, even though I think he was. It he was, was for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And they were saying that America Chavez was the main character. And then we got in a whole discussion because they thought they were like, why didn't they just call her Ms. Marvel? And I'm like, because they're different characters. And they're like, yeah, wait, what? They were <laughs> yeah, right. Brianna and Jackson said that? Brianna and Jackson were like, why don't we just call like what why didn't they just call her Ms. Marvel? I'm like, well, I she's think not Ms. Marvel. I'm like her name in the comics america chavez and i think she also goes by miss america sometimes yeah and they were like oh brandon was like i thought they were leading into the ms marvel tv show and i'm like no that's an entirely that's different a, yeah that's a different character completely <laughs> yeah like different powers different like yeah everything <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay but, yeah what the hell oh i just had another thing i wanted to say 
I did yeah. too, but I forgot. About, oh, um, I loved how terrifying they made Wanda. Yeah, she's the literally very scary terrifying. Yeah, that yeah, was she's, good. Yeah. Uh, what was it? God damn it! Um, good, I'll good think guitar. of something. I'm good. Yeah, he he's pretty good. Yeah. Um, there most of, there's some very creative like shots that I liked in the movie, but there are also like, yeah. moments like when Mordo was explaining everything to Doctor Strange and America Chavez. Oh, the poison and, scene. <laughs> Yeah, the poison scene, and then there's just casually fading in and out between Wanda doing something. I hate oh, yeah? it. It was bad. Like it was not well done. Like I, I was, was like, say, why are you doing this? I thought we were gonna say that when they were drink, like they drank the poison and they stood up and it, the camera was kind of like going like, whoa. Like, oh yeah, oh no, God. I was fine I, with that. I that makes sense. That's, yeah, that's so Sam Raimi. But like just the fading, like they would have like it was always transparent. Like it was never completely solid, but it would like one would become large. It'd be like right. Wanda like in a different angle doing the exact yeah. same thing, and then it would cut back to Mordo talking. I liked how they would they would play like, like a guitar song just. <laughs> cutting between all these stuff it was so no cool reason, so cool i no loved reason. it i loved it so much it's such it a was weird funny. movie it was funny <laughs> yeah uh, i like the dynamic between dr strange and wong a lot mm-hmm. i like how they, they like they have they're both really like they're really good friends and even mm-hmm. though wong is sorcerer supreme he's not like mad that dr strange doesn't like respect him for it yeah he's more he like, like joke around him. about yeah. it yeah and then when he actually bows at the end i'm like that was really earned that was well done yeah. and it was earned and I appreciate it. And it was good character development for sure. Like you can see why he like yeah had grown. Yeah. Also, Wong is the best. I freaking I love, love Wong. Wong. I was yeah, I thought they great. like were gonna kill him. I thought they killed him off. And I was like, Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, uh, when they I was like, You didn't see him die. You saw him go off the cliff, but you don't actually yeah. physically see him die. So I'm like, Okay, he's alive. I don't know when he's gonna I come figured, back, but he's but fine. I, was, I would be so pissed if he was. I really loved that scene at the beginning when he Doctor Strange is at the wedding and he like mm-hmm. sees the monster and he just says like hold my drink and he like very casually jumps off the roof and changes into it. I'm like that's so cool. That's that was so really com- cool. I'm like that's so comic booky. Like just him out of nowhere jumping off and going into battle. Mm-hmm. But uh, I really liked this. This is what I was gonna say. I like that every version of Doctor Strange is a bad person, <laughs> and so our Doctor Strange has to come to terms with that and try to do better. And mm-hmm. in the end, he does do better and he gets closure with Christine, which I liked. I think Rachel McAdams is very phenomenal in this mm-hmm. movie. Like she's yeah. a, yeah, I really liked her and her like portrayal and her dynamic with Doctor Strange. I thought that when he was like, I love you, like I love you in all the multiverse, like, and he like does that whole speech. I'm like, that was really sweet. That was sweet. Good and job. it was sweet. Like it was awesome. <laughs> but, it was badass. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was really great. There are some like emotional moments in this movie that I appreciated. Yeah, they didn't feel forced. No, none of it feel like... really was contrived. Yeah. I also like... thought, wait, go ahead. Oh, I was good. I'll you go because mine's somewhat unrelated. Mine's very unrelated. I'm I was oh, changing okay. topics. <laughs> well, my, mine's still kind of on because I was th- I was thinking of the scene where it's like Wanda consoling the other Wanda because I guess she like oh, yeah. understands the pain she's going through. Right. And then that that one I was just like, oh yeah, that's a very emotional moment and it makes sense. Like you can see why how like troubled right. Wanda is. And I just want like talking about the twins. There are some very like adorable moments with them, but other? also very cringy. <laughs> They're also child actors. They're yes. worse actors than America Chavez. Yeah, which makes sense. They are literally yeah. kids. But it was just like when they sang the ice cream song, and I've seen people talking about this too. It was very, very cringy. Yeah, that was not, that was kind of hard. I know why it's there. I get it. I'm okay yeah. with it, but it was cringy. It was definitely cringy. Yeah. I was going to say that this is actually leads into the change in topic. I was going to say is Wanda has the most traumatic character arc. It's just she lives tragedy. Like I want to make a whole video of this, like her yeah. entire existence in like the MCU from the moment we meet her to like her death, which mm-hmm. I think she's dead. I don't think so. I hope I, I, she'll come back in some way. Yeah. She, she's think- probably in hell. Just kind of hanging out with Mephisto. Mephisto, finally. <laughs> yeah. But we meet her. She's pissed off. She's been experimented on. Her parents died because of Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. Then her brother dies. And then everyone hates her because she blew up a building by accident while saving literally people. Literally saving people, yeah. yeah. And then she falls in love. And then she has to kill Vision. And it does nothing. And then just nothing. I loved when yeah. she says, like, I had to kill the love of my life. And it meant nothing because mm-hmm. Thanos just reversed time and then killed him again. Mm-hmm. like imagine the emotional turmoil that must be to like kill the person you love for no reason yeah like like you, you have did, to you, yeah you have to mentally get your like prepare yourself to do that and then actually do it and then seconds later 
it's undone in front of you. And then she literally dies. Yeah. And then obviously she's like, pretty much snaps directly back. Like in well, her yeah, she doesn't like, feel the five yeah. years, but yeah. she's she snaps away. She comes back, takes over town for a bit, whatever. Then she's corrupted by magic, by witchcraft. Yeah. And then she dies. She never gets a single thing that she wants. And it's so tragic. Well, she did for like a bit. And then she had yeah. to get rid of it too. Right. She had like to she... actively choose to yeah. remove it. Yeah. So I guess she did have, that probably makes it more tragic that she found happiness and then had to re- like get yeah. rid of it herself. She, cre- she ended up having to create her herself because yeah. otherwise she wouldn't get it. And then she had to get rid of it herself. Right. And also I didn't realize, I don't know if they did this in WandaVision, but I didn't know there was a distinction between sorcery and witchcraft. I didn't know either. Like in this movie, they make a heavy distinction between the two. Like Wong even calls Scarlet Witch a witch, like in a derogatory way. Come on, it's Wong. Probably, not, yeah. Like witchcraft is like, demo, like maybe it's like demonic magic. Yeah, I think that's probably like, the difference. But in the first Doctor Strange, the ancient one, Mordo gets mad at her because she draws. Dimension. Okay, because I was trying to remember did she use dark magic? I'm like, did they not? They didn't, Cause they didn't call it witchcraft back then. No, but but I think cause I specifically drew power from the dark dimension. So maybe it right. depends on whether oh. you're outright just using dark yeah. magic or something. Cleo's like that. probably pissed. <laughs> yeah. What do you think of Dr. Strange's third eye? I didn't like it. Looks pretty shitty. Doesn't it? It does. Which I don't it's know like, why he got one just cause he used the dark hold. Like, yeah. Like that's his, but what about the other Dr. Strange? The one that no, he the had one universe. No, the Illuminati universe. He didn't have one, did he? Well, we didn't see it, but he got killed. But the one with the, the well, yeah, he had one. Yeah. yeah, that guy had one. So I think I don't really know what 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 like how does that change him? Is it, it just like him the Illuminati? Oh, because I know in the comics he has a third eye, sorta like the eye of Agamotto lifts up to his head, and then a little eye comes out like a human oh, that's eye. A cool detail, I like that. Yeah. So, but it doesn't. I don't think it looks very good. It's like in a weird place um, too. It's like too low on his forehead. It's like right between his eyebrows, and it's like a like a like a short eye mm-hmm. so i don't i don't know what to think about that i don't know either it's kind of it'll be cool i'm sure but i know oh, i'm not i'm not upset yeah. about it i just thought not it was either. yeah i did i did like it yeah overall i really did like this did you like it better than no way home we talked about this briefly i might have liked it more just because it was more unique i feel like because Spider-Man: yeah. no way home was a good movie and that was a lot more nostalgia based which doesn't make it bad it just is more right. nostalgia based and like the cinematic event of three spider-men coming together yeah. is unlike anything we saw in this movie like mm-hmm. even though we saw professor x and black bolt from the inhumans yeah. tv show yeah there's <laughs> not as many cameos as people thought there were which i kind of liked because if it was just a butt ton of cameos right. then i would not have enjoyed like i would still would have enjoyed it but it wouldn't have been the same no i was glad it was just the illuminati mm-hmm. verse i'm glad that we got an introduction to reed richards yeah, that was fun. And that was really that, fun. You know, that the X-Men and, and humans are still out there somewhere. Mm-hmm. But I think I did enjoy it more than No Way Home. I have some problems with No Way Home. I think it's a great movie, but I don't think it really makes sense well, at yeah. all. To be fair, this one probably doesn't either, but I feel like I haven't I, thought enough about it. <laughs> after I saw No Way Home, like the night of, my mind was like thinking like, what? I was like poking holes in it. Not because yeah. I wanted to, just because I things didn't really add up. But in this one, my, I'm not really like doing the same thing. And I enjoyed how comic booky and weird it is. Yeah, no, me too, for sure. Like I really love that we've gotten to a place in the film industry where we're embracing the comic book format more. Because mm-hmm. if you even look at like, of course, there are examples of like the X Men where they're all wearing like leather suits and nothing looks <laughs> like colorful or anything. Mm-hmm. But even like the first Iron Man, it's not really comic booky compared to like this. No, not at all. And I appreciate that. I think it might turn off some fans who are enjoying it more for the film aspect as opposed to the comic book ones. Like, I'm not sure we'll get very many more films that are like a combination of things. Like a Winter Soldier was a spy thriller and a Captain America movie. And then... I mean, this one was horror. That was the first. Yeah, that was the first. And that was, yeah. I thought they did pretty well with that. Yeah. But I feel like they're going to start building into more and more like comic book shenanigans. I would love that. And I want to keep them to keep at least some stuff dark. Like, yeah, obviously, I, I'm not the only one with that opinion. Right. Yeah. So you're not looking forward to Ms. Marvel, a children's show. I'll be honest. I nothing against her. I never was. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I, we played Ultimate Alliance on the Switch, and you just hated her. I don't know why. I, I watched. I watched the TV show Avengers Assemble. Oh, I don't remember she's her in, in that, that. Like, did you watch that show? It's like I not, the, not Earth's Mightiest Hero. If that's the one you think. Oh, then no. That Wait, is it the one? Assemble's the newer one. Then maybe. It has Falcon in it. Okay, no. I, I, yeah. 
I have not seen this. Yeah, like it's a good it's a good show, and it it, co- it like it covers a lot, which I like. But I just she's in it half like halfway through the series. Okay. And her character just annoys me. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like just how like I maybe it's because she's just a huge fan girl, and so right. she's constantly like screaming and like taking pictures and that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. And that that, would... for that personally bothers me. Like nothing against her character, her powers, anything like that. Just. The way she fangirls over everyone and everything, right. and yeah, that would, like I can see that stuff. getting that annoying. Me. Yeah, but people are not looking forward to that show. I am. I think I'm still watching. I like it. I'm Marvel really stuff. Good. Yeah, but like one of my friends is like, it looks terrible. I'm like, okay, but you're an adult, and this is by and large like a children's show. It looks mm-hmm. at least like this is more so than any other Marvel property we've seen so far. This is for kids, which is great. Yeah. I think they should do that sort of thing, yeah, especially because she is everyone. young. Yeah, she is going to have young kind of turmoils like young problems like high school romances and shit i don't know is she in high school how old is she i don't know <laughs> i don't I know so. i think so i think so i think she's 12 probably <laughs> not she's not 12 but yeah that's what's coming first that or she hulk that right because she hulk doesn't have a trailer yeah definitely definitely that because yeah, yeah, i haven't so... heard much about she hulk i just know it is, it's coming out eventually right well what was i how do we get to this how do we get to ms marvel oh oh i was talking about how i liked it, it was dark and oh yeah so, so you're not looking forward to this Marvel. yeah <laughs> thank you i'm usually good at this but i'm not today apparently i think i i, I hope that they're really doing well with having like multiple heroes in each movie now mm-hmm. except for shang chi i guess but that was its own thing it would have been weird if like falcon showed up to help yeah no that was good but i like the idea too. that yeah that any established avenger or character has a movie and then like various other ones just show up and like help the plot move forward. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Like in this one, like Rag, not Ragnarok, uh, <laughs> Love and Thunder is going to have the Guardians at least for a bit. Mm-hmm. So moving forward, I appreciate that a lot. Yeah, I hope they how, continue doing that. And it's how comic it's books are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's exactly like because in comic books, it's weird if Doctor Strange is fighting a world ending villain and no one shows up. Mm-hmm. So I guess they didn't do that in Eternals, but I understand why. That's the Eternals are Eternals. Because it was in <laughs> Britain or whatever. Yeah, no one else knew it was happening. Yeah, they didn't tell anyone. They yeah. could have, I guess, but they probably just saw in the news like there's a big man in the ocean now. He's a stone. <laughs> and then Doctor Strange would have been like, huh, okay. But did you like how when Doctor Strange and Wanda first met, Doctor Strange is like, this is fake. And she's like, no, it's not. And he's like, okay. <laughs> Okay. Then like five minutes later, she's like, it was fake. I gotcha. honestly, like, I don't know what happened. Maybe I got lost in Elizabeth Olsen's eyes. But uh, I was watching and I didn't hear the line of dialogue before she, everything switched. So she was just sitting sit there. She made a comment that was like, you didn't say her name or something like that. Yeah. And then I didn't, I don't remember either of them saying her name at all. So then okay, I was I'll, really confused. Dr. Strange <laughs> didn't say America Chavez's name. He just said like, there's a kid I'm protecting. Yeah, And, and she goes, say, why don't you bring America here? Oh, okay. And then Dr. Strange stops walking. And then Wanda's like, didn't say her name, did I? And he's like, nope. And then okay. Wanda says like, you know, the easy part was making the illusion. The hard part's lying. And then it all fades away. Okay. Yeah. I thought... I don't know what I heard. What I heard was I didn't like, maybe you could bring her here. Like I heard her. Or she oh, or something like no, that. she says. So then I she, when she's like, yeah, when she's like, oh, you could like, oh, you didn't say your name, did you? I was like, neither did you. Like, what's your point? <laughs> <laughs> like that was, that was weird. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that was really like a weird transition for me. All right. I think what we're going to end with is we're going to rank all the versions of Dr. Strange in terms of looks. In terms of looks. Like, so worst attractiveness one. Attractiveness or like. I don't care. You know, okay. well, whatever you feel like doing, man. Okay. Worst one. Okay. What's worse? Ponytail Dr. Strange or dead ponytail or ponytail, but also dead Dr. Strange. So Defender Strange or dead Def- Defender Strange I or the like one do- where he doesn't Doctor, have a beard. Mm, Dr. Pony, just Dr. Pony. I would put last. Okay. I feel like I think, yeah, I like the dead design a lot. Even yeah. It like, looks kind of like fake. It's, unique, it's like fun. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it looks cool. So yeah. So you want to put Defender Strange last? What about the one where he doesn't have a beard? Is that the Illuminati one? Yeah, it looks kind of weird. I don't think they showed him enough for me to yeah dislike or like him. I'm just neutral on him. All right, well, he's... All right, him... Would you rather... Who do you think was hotter, him or the dead one? I mean, not the dead one, because he's dead. Okay, well, I I'm like going to say the better. dead one. Okay, yeah, good point. <laughs> so we're going to do Defender Strange, Pony Strange, Strange Pony. Uh, Then we have No Facial Hair Illuminati Wait, one. Then we have... Defender Strange and Strange Pony the same? 
Yeah. So why'd you put them? Why'd you say them twice? I, because I said Defender Strange, and then you said you went like Pony Strange, Strange Pony. Yeah, Doctor so, Pony or Strange. Or... Yeah, I'm just saying both the names so people don't get confused. Okay, got you. I thought All right, you were Defender Strange. Multiple. We're putting at last. Okay. Yes. <laughs> then we have Bald Faced Doctor Strange, Maybe. Illuminati okay. one. I think he like Ben the Cumberbatch looks fine without facial hair, but I'm so used to seeing Doctor Strange with facial hair mm-hmm. that it's kind of weird. Then I really yeah. like. Do you like the dead design or the normal Doctor Strange better? Probably normal Doctor Strange. I really like the suit in this one. Like oh, at least his, in the end, yeah. When it was him and Wong, like right when he bowed and stuff. Yeah, his suit looks so good. His we talked about this, but the costuming in Phase Four has been incredible. It's been so good. And like the Doctor Strange design is perfect. Like the one uh-huh. in the Six One Six universe, he looks incredible. Like he, he looks, looks so dead good. on dead yeah. on in the world even when he's walking around in the streets of new york like dressed all warm and with like a little scarf on looks so uh-huh. much like the comics yeah it was so it was good it was good so we're gonna put dead pony strange at second yes and then 616 dr strange what about Wait, dark the dark strange with the third eye what about oh, third i forgot eye about i don't oh, <laughs> forgot about third eye strange i don't like third eye strange me neither i don't like how low oh, the eye is on the forehead yeah i feel like i'd go Normal strange, dead strange, third eye strange, then third eye dark strange. Or just dark what? strange, because he is the third eye. Wait, what? Like the dark the one where yeah. you got the dark. You just from. said him twice though, didn't you? No, third eye strange, like the normal Doctor Strange, but with the third oh, eye. Oh, okay. And then and dark dark strange. Dark strange. Yes. Got it. I forgot about that. We're gonna do two different ones for third eye strange and yeah. dark strange. Well, I just established that I right like, now. I so. feel like dark strange looked too he was too too much facial hair. He was too yeah. much. He was very scruffy, very he sounded fuzzy. weird. Like, I feel like he was just acting too dark. Like, yeah, I do man. think Benedict Cumberbatch is such a great actor and he plays all these different characters. Well, all these different versions of the same character different enough to make them distinguished. Mm-hmm. So I like that. It is done well. He's a very good yeah. actor. Yeah, he's the best actor, would you say? Who is the best actor best in this movie? actor. Cumberbatch. <laughs> Cumber actor, best Cumber actor. actor. <laughs> Cumber best actor. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Any final thoughts? Um, I just wanted to mention because I think I told you this when you brought up Easter eggs. Is the oh, one yeah. when they were like going through universes. Obviously, if anyone decides to like watch this and gets to the end and knows, it, did they go through the next avengers universe because it's like all that it's like the one with the kids correct and it's yeah. like ultron killed all the original and then right they're like going after him and then when they go to the city one time it's just all metallic yeah and then if there was one where they were going through that it was just complete metallic like city yeah and it was like very close to them like it only just was like a metallic wall of sorts so it could just be generic but right. like in my head i was like oh hey that's like that's the next avengers one okay, and i'm so curious that's our, if that's true that's our call to action this video yeah <laughs> if you if you know whether or not that is Neither. the next avengers universe stop that everyone <laughs> calls me out on it it's fine to pronounce it that way if you know if that universe is the next avengers universe let us know if yeah. you think it is or if you watch the movie again look out for it mm-hmm. i also resent the fact that you said if anyone decides to watch this <laughs> if anyone decides to watch this and gets this far <laughs> i got I ten thousand likes on a on a tiktok how much how short is a tiktok that one was like 30 seconds. How long is this video? <laughs> 30 seconds at least. Okay. It may not even no record. To your, I meant no offense to you. I don't your actually YouTube care. Channel. I entirely I agree. This lengthy video. All right. Well, now that yeah. you said that, I'm going to put your face in the video, which I know you don't want. <laughs> Fine. Also, make Emma listen to it because we mentioned her. She on it. She genuinely will, honestly. Really? Yeah. That'll yeah. be one. That'll be one view. Have her yeah, share I'll with tell, her friends. I'll tell her too. I'll watch it with her. You know that Bonnie Vera song for Emma? She, I, yes. That's what this video is. <laughs> for emma <laughs> all right goodbye everybody hasta luego hey. okay. your hair is almost as spiky as mine yeah i had a it's hat more, on. it's more spiky but less floppy all right i don't know what to say to that me <laughs>